All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I am going to talk about creating a video script using ChatGPT and Canva and actually coming up with a video that you didn't have to think about for four hours or four days. Yes, we are going to cut it short using two tools, ChatGPT, which is artificial intelligence, and Canva. And by the time you finish, you're going to have a video. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, which I'm recording it for YouTube, you are going to share your video link in the comments. All right. Well, I am Nakia Evans. I am a real estate industry leader who shares uh, professional development who shares know-how, who shares information through various coaching and mentoring programs. Uh, this one is for our social media power hour, which is every single Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless I'm traveling. Um, as you know, I love traveling the world and speaking at events and conferences. And sometimes that travel takes me away from my complimentary coaching and training programs. But for the most part, you should find me on Mondays at 9.30 uh, and on Fridays at 10. Um, on Mondays, I concentrate on listings. On Fridays, I concentrate on social media and marketing. And I do have a free Facebook group called Free Friday Coaching. And um, find us on Facebook or find me, uh, movingwithnikia.com, and it will link you to everywhere. That's a link tree, and it will link you to everything Nikia Evans. All right, so let's get started. Uh, creating a video. First of all, you're going to want to define your video's purpose and who is the audience for that video. You can't make a video if you don't know who you who it's for or who you would like to watch it and engage with it right uh, so first of all think about the video's purpose and then think about the audience knowing that will guide you through to our next step which is gathering key information you are going to collect all of the essential information and the points that you want to cover, um, whether it's a message, if it's a story, if it's information, um, if it's the guide to, if it's the 10 steps to. Gather all of that. Have that idea ready right before you go to our next step, which is outlining your video. Create a quick outline of your video. I'm going to tell you how ChatGBT is going to help us with that, so don't dwell too much on the outline of your video. Um, basically, you want to understand the structure. What is the main content? Is there going to be an introduction? Is there going to be a conclusion? Um, what do you want people to visualize or what photos and graphics and videos? Yeah, videos inside of video. What videos and graphics and content do you want inside of your video? Next, here is the key. This is the quick trick, fast start, fast finish to creating videos thanks to artificial intelligence. The script writing process. Guess who's going to help you with that? One of my favorite tools, Chat GPT. Okay. First, you're going to tell Chat GPT who you are. My name is Nakia Evans, I'm a real estate coach. And my audience is Realtors. You want to tell them that first so that they know who's going to watch the video, who the audience of this video is going to be, and who you are, okay? Um, you're going to have them to draft the content. Yes, they are going to draft the content. They All you need to do is write out the questions or write out the content that you want to share and you are going to give it, you're going to tell it to ChatGPT, and then they are going to provide a response to you. Um, you're going to tell them, hello, my name is Nakia Evans. I'm a real estate coach. I am uh, wanting to create a video for agents who need help uh, with leads 
and with turning leads into prospects and prospects into clients in the next 90 days. Okay, that's what I'm going to create a video. As a matter of fact, when I finish, I'm going to create a video on that using ChatGPT and Canva, by the way. Um, so you're going to tell, tell ChatGPT that straight up. Talk to them like you're talking to a person. Then you're going to review their responses to make sure that it flows naturally to you, that it feels good to you, that it feels like you. You, Nakia is not Susan. Nakia is not going to talk like Susan. You want to make sure that your video is going to convey the message how you want to portray the message. Okay. Make sure it's naturally flowing and it aligns with the message that you're trying to give. Sometimes chat GBT does get it wrong. Um, if it gets it wrong, all you have to do is ask another question or just tell it. You want to clarify, you want to fix, you want to expand, you want to change. Just tell them what you want done. You want to revise it to say, you know, something of that nature. You want to give it some prompts on what you want it to do. So next up, you're going to organize the script into sections or segments such as the introductions, the main points, and the call to action. Do not forget a call to action. What do you want people to do next after they watch the video or when they watch the video? And when you are extracting that or when you are organizing it, you're creating a visual storyboard. So I did that in Canva. It says here, before moving to Canva, create a rough storyboard or outline of the visual elements that you want to include in your video. This can include text overlays, images, and transitions be between sections. You can think about all of that, but guess what? Canva is here to help you with that also. Okay, we'll do a part two to this video and I'll demo how we can do that in Canva. So let's jump right into step six, video creation on Canva. All right, so now we are opening Canva. You should be logged in because hopefully if you're in my social media power hour Fridays, then you already have a Canva account. Your Canva is lit like my Canva is lit. And there are tons of graphics and uh, documents and things that you have already created in there. Okay, um, you're gonna create. You're gonna click on create a new design or create a design. Um, select custom dimensions or um, basically 1920 by 1080 for high definition. Um, if your video is going on Canva, I mean, sorry, Instagram, then it's 1080 by 1080. You know, you'll get to know these sizes as you are getting into content creation. You're going to know by heart the Facebook size, the Instagram size, uh, Facebook cover size, YouTube size. You're going to know all of that. So don't worry. Don't dig into that too deep. But 1920 by 1080 um, works for high definition videos. Click on the word video from the top menu to access Canva's video editor. Hmm, did you guys know Canva had a video editor? I bet you didn't. All right, step seven, you're going to bring your script into Canva, okay? Whether that's through cut and paste. I use cut and paste and I cut each section onto a different page on my Canva video. I set up a layout, okay? I cut and paste scene one or um, pre uh, page one and I stick it in the Canva. Then I do page two because guess what, y'all? ChatGPT is going to break it down. Slides. They break it down with slides. So slide one goes here. Slide two goes there. Slide three goes there. And then I just go back in and I add the information or the graphics or the, the things that uh, chat GBT told me that I should have in my video I add those in using that plus button that add a page um, I also use transitions I do all kind of things in Canva I'll show you guys if you want to attend these Friday social media power hours I'll show you guys how to master Canva all right um, so next up we're going to add the visual elements. That was basically what I was talking about. I'm just ahead of myself a little bit. Uh, you want to include the images, the graphics, the other visuals that complement your script. If it says show, because ChatGPT is going to talk to you like this. They're going to say show 
a show a photo of Nakia Evans engaging with her audience. And I'm going to look something like this, or I'm going to pre-record, or I can later record a video that looks just like this. I'm engaging with my audience. I'm looking straight at the camera and I'm talking and it's Nakia Evans because y'all, y'all already know I talk with my hands and I move around a little bit and I keep you guys woke during all of the videos, right? So you're going to add in the visuals, the things that Canva told, I mean, that ChatGBT told you to add in. Add in those visual elements is for step eight. And then on top of that, voiceover. Did you know, or if you've already had ChatGPT to create your script, ChatGPT is going to tell you what to say. They give you the wording. That's what this video script is about. They're going to tell you what you need to say. I love creating that voiceover video. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do it all the time. That is one of my favorites, but I know I got to show up on video. I know you guys want to see me. I know you want to see my face, but I love the voiceovers. You can record that directly in Canva or you can upload yourself already pre-recorded. Um, I generally also use CapCut for my voiceovers. I know this is a Canva class and I'm just going to be honest because y'all know I'm honest. I use Canva voiceover every so often, but I love CapCut, okay? Because I get to do a lot of things in CapCut also. Um, so either one works, but for the sake of simplicity, go ahead and record your voiceover in Canva or just add some background music. That's easy too, okay? Um, next, you're going to review it. You're going to preview it. You're going to cut some things. You're going to make some changes. You're going to Flip the script a little bit. You're going to uh, make all kinds of changes based on your timing, your visuals, and check your audio quality, okay? Um, make sure everything is aligning perfectly, especially if you are creating a voiceover. It should align. All right, step 11 is to download, export, and share. Download, save it to your computer, your tablet, your phone, Whatever, wherever you are saving these videos, save it, download it, and then share it. Share it to your preferred platform or website. Share it to all of them. Generally, I am sharing to Facebook because that's where my audience is. I know that for a fact. I've checked the analytics. Facebook first. Then I go to Instagram. Um, sometimes I go to TikTok or sometimes I do TikTok first, then Instagram. Um, I'm even going to the X, Twitter, and uh, YouTube is my favorite, especially if I have a short. Um, but for a long form video like this or a longer form video like this, I'm going to YouTube. All right. Last but not least, I want to tell you guys, thank you for spending just a few minutes with me. I am going to expand on this and reteach this on next Friday, Friday, September 29th, okay? I am going to expand on this. So thank you for coming today. Do a little bit of homework. Have your script ready. Maybe have your Canva file set up and I'll be there to help you guys one-on-one -on -one with this. All right, I'll see you next Friday. Thank you. Don't forget to connect with me on social media. If you go to any social media channel and you look for Moving with Nakia or go to YouTube or you're probably already on YouTube. Hello, Nakia. Uh, go to Instagram, do Moving with Nakia. Click that link in the bio and it's going to take you to all of my social media channels. All right, y'all. I will see you for my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.